Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Hack Hack Um All with Deco Created. I'm Claudia and today we're gonna hack the Winter Village Houses and Tree from the Winter 2020 box. And I already have some of them ready, so a little magic here. But uh, what we're gonna do is make them a little bit more boho or modern, maybe if that's how you wanna describe them, or just more rustic too, because I don't draw really well, so it's just gonna be maybe a little rustic. So what you need to do, or what I'm gonna do, but you can paint it with anything. So we're gonna do chalk paint today, and you need a brush, a uh, sponge brush for the chalk paint. It'll be like a smoother uh, brush stroke that's gonna go on there because it's a really smooth surface. Um, and a chalk marker and of course your little village houses so to prep them um, you could sand them if you want to or you can prime them um, that would be like the best case scenario so that that doesn't scratch off I'm gonna do it really quick and I did actually do it really quick and I just painted them with chalk and just I'm gonna take care of them afterwards um, and I think that's it we can get started so I, like I said, I prepared a little bit already because um, a little bit of magic here, hack, hacking magic, right? And um, so I did leave one of them just to show you guys. So I'm being super crazy, just dipping my sponge brush in here again. All of us here at Deco Created, we love hacking, not professionals by all means, but we do the best that we can. And sometimes I like to say I'm a little bit of a savage with this stuff. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, the chalk paint is going to need two coats. I learned that after doing the, uh, the houses in advance because um, it does streak a little bit and you can still see the color. Uh, but if you apply it nice and gently, you might not get that much streaking, right? So um, that was pretty easy. Actually, that was super fast. Um, I'm gonna say that this hack you could probably do in one day if you're patient enough uh, to let things dry. So it takes about, um, I would say a little bit faster, but this particular can says that it takes two hours to dry. And then you do have to do the second coat. And after that, it'll be like four hours until you can go in with a chalk marker. Um, and still, when you do the chalk marker, you wanna be a little bit gentle with that. So, oops. Good thing I have my apron, but I did splat over there. So I'm gonna let this dry and um, just be careful with your edges. And the point of, of DIYing is to get a little bit dirty and I am gonna clean my fingers on my apron. Now, I did, like I said, already paint some. I'm not gonna show them to you guys yet. And I did decide to leave one completely black and you're gonna see why at the end. Um, so I'm only going to draw on two of them, uh, three of them. And then I'm gonna finish the tree with you guys. So we'll put our chalk aside. And um, I had already drawn in with pen. You could do pencil, uh, just like, just in case you know you don't want to erase uh, with the white, and you know exactly what your design's going to be. Um, so I went in with some pen and I drew some designs. Um, for mine, I wanted like boho look more simple so i went online and i looked like i looked up boho patterns and picked um three of them and just did them right on here um if you want a more like perfect look you could use stencils um i'm sure that you guys can find a bunch of awesome stuff in the craft store to do additional things to them um even glitter i mean it's like endless what you could do with these trees i mean i mean a tree and the houses even though this design is cute and the color palette is wonderful. I know that's for sure some of you are going to hack them. And this is what I chose to do with mine. So to prepare this uh, marker, you shake it a little bit. I had already prepared it. So you got to like um, push down a couple times until you see it come through. Let me see if I can do this somewhere. Um, I'm just going to do it on this design that I already did. Make sure I have enough paint. OK. Um, and you can't see the design I did, but it's just these, um, like, don't know what to call them, but they're triangles without finishing them, uh, chevrons maybe, that are not connected. Um, you can see it a little bit there. 
um, and I'm gonna do them all the way down. So the original one had these lines, which is super cute, but I wanted like a bohemian style, little trees, and you're gonna see the, all of them together. And what I love about the design that I selected is that it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Um, that's part of the charm of like doing a little boho design is that it could be like nice and messy or not too messy, but they don't have to be perfect lines. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue going down. And actually it feels nice. I did let this dry for a bit. So um, it's actually quite smooth with the marker and uh, it's going on pretty nicely. Okay, um, I'm gonna go all the way down with my marks. And actually, I don't know what you, how you guys feel about doing DIYs, but they are, I can totally zone out and relax a little bit and have so much fun with this. Um, yeah, look at this, doing it so quickly, but it's still gonna look so good together. So make sure not to rub it yet, cause this does, probably take a little bit to dry. And it is a chalk marker, so um, it should be able to come off if you wanted to do a new design. All right, so the magic is gonna happen now because I already painted some. And there's my other design. And I'm gonna be careful with this one because I did just paint it with the chalk, but I had already made a little rainbow design. So, you guys, we have dots, kind of like messy dots, right? Um, rainbows and the little chevrons that are like not connected. And then I left this one blank, so it looks all nice. And now we can transfer our little trees to this side. And we have a super cute modern winter village. Yay! Tell me in the comments how you guys liked this hack or share with us your hack of the Winter Village. Um, happy holidays and thanks for joining us for this episode of Hack'em All. Bye. Bye.